Each night, I have the same two visions. One of a field of wheat stalks swaying in the wind. Another of bright, burning flames, trampling horse hooves, and loud screams. My people, the Visigoths, came to Roman lands not as an invading army, but as a people running from a scourge. No, the plague sent by God himself. We warned the Romans of the impending danger, but they ignored us. They despised and distrusted our kind. They treated us poorly, gave us barren lands, and when we suffered famine, they made us sell our children for food. Inevitably, we went to war, and our great army struck a decisive blow to the Romans at Hadrianople. We slew their emperor and forced them to allow our people to settle in Roman lands. Our victory taught the Romans to not underestimate Gothic warriors. In exchange for the land they gave us, our young men would serve in the Roman armies, fighting alongside our former enemies. As wars broke out between the eastern and western halves of the Empire, we gathered our spears and served Rome in battle. Yeah. The Roman general Stilicho had better presence on the battlefield. Yeah. Das ich so. The Emperor of the Western Roman Empire is a pagan sympathizer. We should collect all relics to prove that the Christian God is on our side. Halsa. Western hey, Roman yeah. soldiers have been spotted to the south. Uberreit. 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 Arbogast has Frankish soldiers fighting for him. Deal with them. Uberreit. Yeah. We have collected all of the relics. Our men are eager to go into battle. Hey, yeah. Hey, sir. Yeah. Hey, sir. Yeah. This war. Das ich so. Yeah. Yeah. This war. Das ich so. Yeah. Das bietet. Hey, sir. Yeah. This war. Yeah. Hey, sir. The later, yeah, says to me, says to it. The later, yeah, yeah, hey, sir, that's a soul. The later, treat it. The later, says to me, yeah, treat it. Abu Ghast has fled into the Alps, abandoning his men. Well done, Alaric. I knew that I could count on you. The later. The Western Romans flee the field of battle. We have triumphed. The dead bodies of young Goth warriors littered the flanks of the Julian Alps. For all the blood we shed, the Romans did not give us even a crumb of gratitude. 
A Gothic commander in the Roman army encouraged us to desert and go back to our people. Hardship is upon your families, wives, and children. And your people need your help now more than ever, he said. Few had heard of Alaric, this Gothic commander. But he managed to gain a strong reputation during his service in the Roman army. He was a tall man with a voice that could silence a crowd. When Alaric spoke, all heads turned in his direction, and his eyes flickered with an inextinguishable fire. The elders of the Visigothic tribes elected Alaric king of the Visigoths. Never before had there been a single king, but never before had there been a man like Alaric. We were drawn into another war with Rome. The Romans had failed to fulfill their promises of lands for our families, and Alaric was determined to force them to remember their promises. He marched our army south into Greece. The days the Romans ignored the Visigoths are over, he declared. We will set fire to Hellas! Greece has many rich cities to plunder. We should take as much as we can carry and leave before the Romans can field an army. This war Heise streeted. The later. Ja. Heise. Ja. Ja. Heise. Das ich soll. Ja. This war. Sestrome. The later. Heise. Sestrome. Ja. The later. Ja. Das ich soll. Ja. Ja. This war. Das ich soll. Heise. This war. Ja. Das ich soll. Bereit. Ja. This city state was once known for its fierce soldiers. Where are they now? Sasa. Streeted. We will bring anarchy to Greece. Sasa. Ja. This war streeted. Bereit. Ja. We can use these resources to train many more men. Ja. Barbarians are within our city walls. Where are the Romans to protect us? We have burned Argos to the ground! Our warriors are eager. We will overwhelm our enemies with numbers. This war. This war. This war. Yeah, yeah. This Roman cavalry can easily cut down our infantry. This it will not be so easy to deal with them. This war Sasa. Yeah. Streeted. Yeah. Sestrome. Heise. Das ich soll. Yeah. Yeah. Das ich soll. This war. Bereite. Sasa. Streeted. Bereite. The riches of this city will fill our coffers for years to come. This Goths do not know when to stop. Will there be no end to our misery? If we destroy the towers defending those markets near Corinth, their merchants will generate gold for us. This war treated Sestrome. The later. This war. Yeah. 
Later. The Corinthian traders will generate gold for us. Ja, ah, how I adore Roman gold. Streeters. Hey, sir. Yet another Greek city is burning. I'm sure that we have the attention of the Romans now. It is time to travel home, but the Roman army is blocking the path north. We must fight our way through them. Athens has a gold mine to the north. If we kill the Romans defending it, its wealth will be ours. Have you ever seen anything as shiny as pure gold? Yeah. later, Sasa. Yeah, this was Pace. Yeah, Streeted. Pace. Sister later, Sasa. Yeah. The later, Sasa. Message to Constantinople. The ladies are Sestoma. Ancient cities, once renowned for their philosophers and soldiers, were sacked and burnt to ash. The world was changing rapidly, but Adaric had seen visions. Despite our victories, the Eastern Romans still refused to meet our envoys. Instead, we turned west. The half-Vandal general Stilicho was the driving power behind the Western Roman Empire. He knew Alaric from when our king served the Romans. We hoped Stilicho would be more willing to negotiate. Rumors spread that Stilicho was ready to make a deal with Alaric. Our hopes were raised. But as weeks passed with no news, we knew that more Gothic blood would have to be shed. The Romans resented Stilicho for making a pact with barbarians. When parts of the Western Roman Empire were overrun by usurpers and foreign invaders, they blamed Stilicho. He soon learned the hefty price of Roman politics. They declared him an enemy of the state and had him executed. In a frenzy of hate, the Romans followed Stilicho's execution by murdering all soldiers of Germanic descent. Then, in another rush of blind rage, they turned on the families of those soldiers and murdered them too. The survivors flocked to Alaric, begging him to raise his army and march with them into Italy to exact vengeance. Alaric coldly answered them, the Romans have never known fear, but that will change. Hey, sir, that's a soul. Hey, yeah, hey, sir, that's a soul. Rete, Holzer. Hey, yeah, Holzer. My most trusted warriors will aid you today on the battlefield, Alaric. 
Boubert. 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 We have burned Aquileia to the ground. Sestuma. Pomona lies in ashes. Death to the Romans. Yeah, that's a stated. This war. Our most esteemed emperor is ready to grant you an audience. Negotiate this scum like you. I will not allow it. Romans think that they can fool us. Elric, it is time for decisive action. It is time to take Rome. For all that the Romans did to us, it seemed logical for Elric to seek their downfall. But that is not what he wanted. After sacking the cities of northern Italy, he met with the Roman Emperor Honorius. Elric's demands were reasonable and humble. A sign of reconciliation between our two peoples. And all would have gone well, had it not been for the Gothic commander, Sarus. Sarus had vied with Alaric over the Visigothic kingship, and had lost dishonorably, instead entering Roman service. Jealous of Alaric, he ordered his soldiers to attack our king by surprise and kill him. Luckily, Elric and his men survived the assassination attempt and escaped 